I am going to model a mechanism for drawing a particular curve um, pointed out by Schluss. Um, this is the um, this is the mechanism here, and um, we'll see what the curve um, looks like when we model uh, what the curve is once we model it. So we are going to start with a, um, a line of indeterminate length, um, which is driven by a crank and a slider um, of determinate length. There's also a point on this, which is a specific distance from the origin there. Um, and there's going to be a perpendicular uh, line um, down from that point. Let's make it no, perpendicular to the axis. And we're going to come from B um, in horizontal to that. And that's going to, what's going to draw our curve. So there is my perpendicular there. The distance from A to D is prescribed to the A. The distance from A to C, they say to make it A squared over 2B. So let's do that. A squared over 2B. Now this is just to make the equation um, nicer, I guess. Uh, and this distance here is the same, um, A squared. Times B. And we can drive that with an angle here. And now let's have a look at the um, curve generated um, by point E as theta varies. Now here's a curve obviously our mechanism degenerates here. Let's change the um, limits of theta. We'll go from minus 1.57 uh, to plus 1.57. Just give us this, that piece and let's have a look at this equation. That's why we did um, that uh, a squared over 2b. It gave us this rather nice, simple equation um, for the curve. Um, we can animate it here. 